fantastic reception. Boy, I really love it. I really appreciate it. Talking about reception, a few months ago, I went to Philippines. And over there, boy, I have a fantastic reception. And I was met by uh, these Philippine there. And uh, they, you know, have this lively band and music, all those things. And waiting for me at the airport. Oh, I just want to show you a little bit. Just take a look on the TV. This is the way I came in to Manila, the Philippines. As soon as my plane touched down, I was welcomed with lively music, fresh flowers, and beautiful Miss Philippines. Her name is Wiki. Knowing what was waiting for me, I couldn't wait and became the first walker out of the aircraft. It was a hot, sunny day, but the reception was even hotter. That was the royal reception I got. Isn't that wonderful? when I was in the Philippines, but the weather was beautiful, and the folks there are just beautiful. And talking about beautiful things, in this show, I'm going to show you something really beautiful. I will walk them all up behind the counter if you join me. Okay? Okay, fine. And because I went to Philippines and filmed that for you, I have a special cap. Just take a look at it. <laughs> Okay, fantastic. Now, I'm going to uh, cook up something, something to do with rice, you know, here. As you are aware, in the Philippines, the uh, Philippines is situated in the South China Sea, very close to China. As a matter of fact, a lot of Filipinos, they originated, you know, from China. They have an ethnic origin, you know, China, Chinese, Malay, and some of them are or even have some of the Spanish blood, you know, that it's a nice country. So you have a variety of things, you know, mixed together. And then they eat a lot of rice. Like the Spanish people, they eat a lot of rice. And the Chinese people, they eat rice all the time. Hey, and then I'll be showing you what you can do with a little rice, a little bit of the hamburger meat, and then some of the green peas, and then we can cook up something very interesting. But before I do that, I'm going to show you what you can do with this uh, honey garlic uh, pork chop. Let me do the walking for you, okay? <laughs> okay, thank you very much. Oh, I have a special apron for you. This is very, very uh, loving. You just take a look at this, eh? Ah. <laughs> Boy, I love to hug my walk, you know, every day. Now, okay, now, before we do anything, I like to make something very, very pretty. You know, there you are. Boy, boy, the Filipino people, they are really, really artistic. And then, I'm going to show this to you. Now, first of all, you can use a small piece of uh, cucumber, and you can make a lot of good things. Now, first of all, then you just make some leaves, you know, with this uh, cucumber. Now, just shave, you know, the outside of the cucumber. You know, just like this. Now, wear thin. Just keep turning your cucumber. Just like that. And we'll be using this to make the leaf of a uh, little flower. Now, you get it like this. Wear thin. And then what do you do? You will use a knife. Just cut some leaf-shaped, you know, uh, skin. You know, there you are. Okay, now there you are. Very simple. That's it. Now you can do it like this. Hmm. Terrific. Now then what do you do with this thing? Now this is the, the other part of the cucumber. And then we go, we're going to make a flower out of this. Now just take a look at this. Use a knife. Just go like this. Oh, what goes up? Must come down. Okay, then you come down like this. There's one thing that 
goes up, but never come down. You know what it is? It's your age. Unfortunately, there you are. Boy, it just go like this. And then I'll just keep going. Pick about five pedals, you know, out of this. Then you're in business. Okay, now this is a nice way to make some nice little tulip. Now, then you make a circle cut, you know, like this. Now, use your cucumber, you know, because the cucumber is a very easy vegetable to, to work with. So you can uh, practice your garnishing. Now, there you are. After you make the circle cut, you just lift this, lift this thing up. Now, here you are. Become a little flower, you know, right here. And then all you have to do, just get a little bit of uh, red cherry. Now, remove this part. Get a red cherry. There you are. Get a red cherry. And get a little, uh, what we call this uh, thing here. This is called a uh, skewer. No kidding. Then what do we do? Oh boy, that's all you have to do. Okay, you have don't have a green onion. Then you can just have to do like this. Put this thing here. All the leaves there. One, two, three, four. Now go all the way. And you stick this all the way up. And then you can put the little red cherry on top. Now here is a little red. Isn't that good? Ah, good, eh? That's it. Now we're going to hide this and then uh, later on now uh, I will uh, give it to a lady. There you are. Heat it up. Now we are going to cook this uh, little pork. Now a lot of people they heard about dry garlic spare rib but they never heard about the uh, dry garlic uh, spare prawn, um, uh, spare pork chop. Why not? You can do that. Do it the same. Now this is ordinary fast fly uh, pork chop. Okay, now we want to make more. All you have to do is just to use a knife, the cleaver right here, you know, and then just put your hand down, you know, just go like this, oh, back and forth. Now then you can thin it down. One piece, now it becomes two pieces. You know, it's a good way to stretch your budget. No kidding. If you, you want more, you just keep on doing this until you run out of uh, meat. Then you're all right. Now see, isn't that good? Good idea. Now, just keep going. And then while you're waiting, then you can heat up the oil. You know, I'm heating up the oil now, so that later on, I don't have to wait too long. Now you will notice that the angle of the blade is going downward. This is the only way to go. If you, it goes upward, then you will feel it. <laughs> that is not too comfortable, isn't it, right? Now see, just be careful. If you are trying this the very first time, I recommend you to kind of a half freeze. You know, this is a pork. So that uh, when it's frozen, half frozen, then it will be easier, you know, for you to do. You know, that's all you can do. Now there you are. Isn't that great? Now there. If you don't have pork, you can use a uh, turkey, you can use a uh, chicken, you can use anything you want. Okay? If you like garlic, uh, you know, dry garlic or honey garlic, you know, whatever you want. I will be using some honey, you know, to do it. So that the whole thing is going to uh, taste sweet and nice. Just like my reception at the Philippines. It was such a sweet thing, you know, to have. Now, then, what do we do? Then you get the two pieces of garlic. Now, this is the way you skin your garlic, you know, cut off this part here, and then you just have to use a cleaver, give it a couple hot, you know, hot your garlic. Then you get it, and you mince this. Okay, now, this is a simple. Mince them in those small pieces, fresh garlic. That's all you have to do. Then, then what do we do now? We're going to put all this uh, pork, pork chop in the mixer. And put some of the salt, you know there? And then put some of this, what we call the five spice powder. Okay, five spices, so that it will taste really good. Terrific, you know, right there. Okay, then what do we do? Put some of the dark soy sauce, of course. There you are, put it there, mm, so that you add some color, you know, to the pork uh, chop. And then you mix them. Mix them, you know, there you are, mm, this is good. You know, mix it in the wok cover. Now, this is a special cover, you know, that I made, that you can turn it upside down and use it as a holding tray, you know, this is very good, so that you don't end up with a lot of pots and pans, you know. Okay, then you walk over to the hot wok, make sure the oil is hot. Now, put the thermometer there. 
see a lot of bubbles, you know, there, that means the oil is hot. And then you just put all those pork, the thinly sliced now, so it doesn't take long to cook. Right? So, all you have to do is just keep on doing this, put them in. You can deep fry this for about a minute or two, if your oil is hot. You are not sure, then you can cook it a bit longer. As a matter of fact, this part can be done ahead of time. You can do this ahead of time. And uh, keep it warm in the oven. And that's it, you know, that will be quite uh, simple. And uh, it's excellent to serve your guests with this. It's excellent, you know, to uh, serve with some drinks as well. Oh boy. Now, if you are using electric stove, you might have to cook this a bit longer, okay? I'm using the gas stove so that uh, the heat is faster. Okay, the folks at home who are watching the show, and uh, you might wonder how fast, you know, we can cook this. The reason why we can cook this so fast is because we are using gas. The gas gives you the instant high heat. But if you use an electric stove, you have to wait a little bit longer until it is very hot. But the secret is to make sure the oil is hot before you do it. A lot of people don't wait, and then as a result, you know, they end up into trouble. Okay, we don't want to see that. Now, all right, here we go. Now, this is called uh, honey garlic, you know, uh, uh, pork chop. Mmm, why not? That's all you have to do. Then you heat up the wok. And then when it's getting hot, you use uh, one tablespoon of oil. Okay, now then go back and say hello to your pork. Hi, pork, are you still there? <laughs> oh, boy, that's as good. Oh, smells good too. Then what happens? When this wok is hot, then you just put all the garlic in. Mmm. Oh, so good. Now, there you are. Mmm. Then you pick up all the pork. Right. Now, pick up all the pork from this wok. Now, look at that. Oh, because they're so small, this pork. Okay, they're fast fried. Then you put it right in here. Oh, smells good. Now, oh, boy, look at that. Mmm. Then you put a little bit tiny cooking wine. Mm. And a few drops of sesame seed oil. Okay, so that the whole thing will smell, you know, terrific. That's right. And then put your honey. Two tablespoons of honey. Okay, honey, honey, where are you? Honey? Yeah. <laughs> okay, oh, terrific. Mmm. This is real good. And put a little bit salt. Okay, now then you're in business. Oh, boy, this is a honey garlic pork chop. Now, just get some of this uh, leaf lettuce, you know there? Press it down so that the whole thing, you know, will, will look just gorgeous, you know there? Hmm. Now, there you are. Just mix all this thing. Okay, what do we do? Then we are ready. And we are going to put this thing away for the time being. So make sure you don't walk away. I'll be right back and then do more for you. Okay, now we are going to cook up something very interesting. This is called uh, beefy rice. What it means is this. We are going to use the rice and also we are going to use some beef. So it becomes a beefy rice. Very simple. See, it's a really to the point. No kidding. The name is very smart. You know, the snakes are very smart. You know why the snakes are smart? Because you can't pull their legs. <laughs> right. Okay. Now, what do we do? We are going to put the, roughly about six ounces of this uh, hamburger beef. Okay, that's all you have to do. Put uh, about one tablespoon of of this uh, light soy sauce, you know, there. Mmm. Put a little bit uh, freshly ground pepper. Okay, large on pepper. Away we go. Then what do we do? Heat up the wok. All right, then you mix this. Oh, that's all you do. Mix them up. Mmm, nice. Oh, mix it good. Then what do we do? Then you get a little bit onion. Get some onion, of course. Now. I want to show you the way to, to skin your onion. Look at that. Now you just cut this part right here. Not all the way. Just turn around. You do the same thing, now like this. 
And then what happened? I just peel this thing like that all the way. And then you look after the other part. Now, just go, you know, like this. Now, here you are. See the nice man? Right. Look, then you cut this in a half, you know. There, exactly half. <laughs> right. Oh, you should practice this. You know, this is a lot of fun. Okay, cut these into small pieces. You know, there you are. Heat up the wok, right? Beautiful. But it's not working. Now it's working now. So two tablespoons of oil. That's right. One and then two. Two tablespoons of Depends on the size of the table, of course. That's it. That's all you have to do. Cut off all those uh, little onions. Now, a lot of people, they cry when they uh, cut the onion. Actually, this is a little trick for it. All you have to do is this, after you have all those uh, onion skin, you know, and then before you chop it, you take it to the running cold water and then rinse it, you know, a couple of seconds. And then by the time when you cut that, then you don't cry anymore. Isn't that a good trick? Okay, now when the oil is hot, then you put all those uh, onions into the hot wok. And then you put all those uh, beef right in here, the hamburger beef. Oh, this is great. Now just keep going. Hmm. Isn't that good? Now, then you just keep turning so that all this beef, you know, will be cooked in a few seconds. Now, they break them up so that you can feed an army. Hey. Okay. All right, now just keep going. And now I want to show you how to cut some green onion, you know, the very effective way. Okay, now why we are cooking this beef, you know, right here. Okay, get your green onion. Now a lot of people, when they chop the green onion, they see the onion flying all over the place. But have no fear, you just follow my method. Cut this in half, get one of the rubber bands. Okay, now there you are. And then you just tie this thing together. Okay, now that's what you have to do so that the onion doesn't go anywhere. You just go like this, now see? Now, you just go up and down, up and down. Just relax, you know, the onion is not going to fly anywhere. But make sure you have a different color uh, rubber band so that you can find it in case you cut it. Now, see? Isn't that good? Right. Okay. Now, what we do now is put a little bit of uh, rice, you know, here, the cooked rice. This is uh, all steamed up, you know. Cooked rice. Never put the uncooked rice in, otherwise all the rice will be jumping up and down. You'll be in trouble. Now, then put some of the green peas in. Half a small cup of green peas. And then you put your green onion. And then get some of these small uh, lettuce. You know, cut them small ones like this. Shredded lettuce. Lettuce, cut some lettuce. So, then you put it in. Oh, this is terrific. Then what happens? Then you put your one egg, you know, the pizza egg, you know, in. Oh, everything is in. Put them all in and mix them up. Mm. And then what happens? You sprinkle some salt, right? Put some salt, about half teaspoon bowl. And put some of the, the dark soy sauce. There you are. Oh, about half tablespoon bowl. That's it. Now, then you mix this. Oh, this is the PV rice. Oh, isn't that terrific? And it's very nutritious. And looks good, very economical. And that's all you have to do, just heat it up and it's warm. Wow, we are ready. What the heck? We are fast. These are walking back and forth. Now, this is the beefy rice, all done in the wok. Now, I'm going to serve this with my special guest. You don't walk away. I'll be right back after this message. <laughs> Now, I'm going to share this with my special friend. But before I do that, I'd like to show you what we have. Oh, look at this. This is a honey garlic pork chop. Oh, it's really good. And then the other one is called the beefy fried rice. Just for you. I hope you like it. Okay, Rory. Well, are you enjoying? I sure am. Yeah? What, what do you think of my performance? It's fantastic. Is it right? Yeah. Good. I can't wait to dig in. Well, go ahead. You don't go have to ahead. wait. I'll get you some lice there. You like lice? I love it. You love lice? Right. <laughs> yes. This is called beef, you know, uh, fried lice. Yeah, the problem is this is 
too big for you with chopsticks and it's too small for you with chopsticks. Okay, there's no have problem. A problem. <laughs> no problem. Now, here, I'll give you a small piece. Either you okay. pick up a small piece or find another bigger mouth. Right. No, I'm just saying, uh, nothing personal. I'm just saying, uh, to give you an Thank alternative. You. Should I try, try it? it? Sure, go ahead. Yeah, you're doing very well. Mm. Are you all right? Do I have to say anything? Yeah, you don't have to. How about try this, this uh, garlic uh, pork chop? Okay. I'll see what happens. That's all right. Take your time. We got all night to walk. I could have walked all night, you know? <laughs> see, how's that? Mm. You like the mm. garlic? Mm. Fantastic. Fantastic. That's all you say. How about another piece of pork? You want another piece? You know, there you are. I'd like to take that cucumber. You like to take the cucumber? Home. 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 <laughs> okay. You don't want to take me home. You just no, want to take the cucumber. <laughs> now, okay. Now, this is special, you know, cucumber. You know, just for you. Mm. Now, okay. Now, there you are. You can keep this. Thank and then you. Whatever Very, there. very much. Now, we've been having a lot of fun, isn't it? Right, Laurie? That's right. And folks at home, I hope you have fun.